Hey friends, in this video, we're gonna be diving into how to take our Fabric Lake House and load on-premises data into it. Let's get to it. Hello, my name is Austin Leibel and I'm a trainer at Pragmatic Works and we do training on various products for Microsoft, for Power BI, Power Apps, Power Automate, Azure, and the hottest new thing in the Microsoft ecosystem for analytics, which is Microsoft Fabric, a branch of the Power BI service that is really transforming how we're going to do analytics and how different team members, whether they be data engineers, analysts, or scientists can all work together in one company collaborative space and they can all go through and use the same resources and share with one another all of their data. Now, you have data that is on premises and you want to get it into the Power BI service into a Microsoft Fabric Lake House. If you're unfamiliar with exactly what a Microsoft Fabric Lake House is, definitely go check out my Learn with the Nerd session where we do an end-to-end -end analytical solution in Fabric. This is going to be actually an offshoot of that same demonstration that we did there. We're gonna take data that is on an on-premises SQL server, and we are going to then load it into our Fabric Lake House using a Dataflow Gen 2. So I'm inside of my Power BI a service workspace here and this is a fabric enabled workspace so I have the ability to go and switch between my different personas I want to go over to my data factory persona and I want to go through and issue a new data flow gen 2 so let's go over and let's check that out now what we're going to do inside of this data flow gen 2 which is very very similar if you've never seen this before to working inside of power query inside of the power bi desktop tool is we're going to go to the left hand side of our screen over here and we're going to go and we want to get data we want to get our new data from our sql server database so i'm going to go ahead and select that and then i'm going to come over and i'm going to look at my connection settings here so to start with i need to know some different uh, uh, credentials for how to log into my server that's going to have to be on you to make sure you have all of that credentials filled out and under available for you uh, but once i have that like i'm going to log into my laptop's sql server that i have here and then i'm going to pass through the name of my database which is going to be the adventureworks data warehouse 2019 i'm then going to want to go through and issue a connection now you'll notice here what i have is an on-premise premises data gateway. If you're not familiar with what an on-premises data gateway is, it's essentially a source that allows us to connect to a on-premises SQL server or on-premises file system or any source that is on-premises into the Power BI service. It acts like a bridge from wherever your on-premises data is to the Power BI service. So I already have installed that on my machine. That is something you would need to do to be able to issue this. But from here, what I would want to do is I would need to go and make sure that I have authentication to that SQL server or whatever that uh, on-premises source is going to be as well. So for my domain name here, I have this credential saved into my uh, username here, into my browser. So I'm gonna go ahead and pass that in, and then I'm going to issue a connection using that. So I'm gonna go ahead and say next for here. And this is essentially going to be all I need to do to make that connection, a data gateway to the on-premises SQL server on the same machine that the SQL Server exists on will allow you that bridge from the on-premises source into the Power BI service. From here, you can see I'm looking at all of the different tables that are available to me inside of that on-premises SQL Server. I'm gonna go and pick just one for now. I'm gonna pick the DIM currency table. This is going to give me a preview of what that table looks like. It's a dimension table that I want to load into my Fabric Lake House. So I'm gonna go ahead and create create this choose data connection here. This is going to allow me to create a new query. Again, very, very similar look and feel now to working inside of the Power BI uh, Power Query Editor. 
I'm going to go through and say, you know what, I don't actually need any of these columns here. So I'm going to do a little bit of editing, if you will, of this. I really just want my currency key, my currency alternate key name, and then the actual currency name itself. So for here, all I need to do is come over to the very bottom of my screen and choose my data destination. And from here, I can choose either a warehouse, a lake house, an Azure SQL database, or Azure Data Explorer. So I'm going to choose my lake house over here. And then I already have a lake house available to me. I'm going to create a new connection to my uh, lake house over here. Uh, I don't have a lake house on premises or anything like that. So I'm just going to say I want to go to a new one for this option. And then once this loads, it's going to allow me to see all of the different lake houses that I have available to me inside of the Power BI service. So all of these different folders here are going to be different workspaces that I can go and load data to potentially. Now where I want to load data to is my Learn with the Nerds workspace. And inside of that, I want to load it to my AdventureWorks lake house. This is going to be the name of my lake house. There are the four tables that I've created in previous sessions of these video series and the learn with the nerd session that we did I need to give this table a name I'm going to keep dim currency that works well for me I'm going to go ahead and say next for this it gives me the option to go in and pick my different uh, data types for these columns and make sure I want to uh, transpose over all these different columns and I'm going to say yes I do want to do that save my settings publish my work and everything now is good to go. So I've just gone through and I have connected to on-premises data. I have done that using a data gateway, which is my bridge to my on-premises SQL server in this scenario into my fabric lake house. And I've done that by using a data flow gen two. Now you'll see over here that my data flow two is working right now. It's going through and loading this data. But hopefully if I go over to my AdventureWorks lake house, my lake house type over here, uh, AdventureWorks, I should see pretty quickly a new table that gets created here in just a few moments for myself. Let's do a little refresh on this. Still not available yet, but I'm going to pause the video and we'll see that in just a few moments. So I'll see you back here when my table is ready to go.